already know what time it is. There's yet another new erudition character on the banner. And we don't have all that many pulls. Also, I love the design of this light cone. I like the colors and the glitchy effect. But I don't know if we're actually going to be getting that light cone. If we look at our pity, we are at a whopping 11. For the light cone, we're at 5. We have enough pulls to guarantee one 5 star on the character banner. So... Here's the plan, right? I'm just going to get lucky on this banner, get her uh, not like terribly early, but earlier. And then we're going to pull on here, but not just for uh, this light cone, because there's a good chance we don't get that. However, this is also a really good option for her. As long as I can get one of those, it'll be fine. Now, I see no reason to hype this up or draw it out for a really long time. Let's just start pulling. First 10 pull, not gonna be a five star. But like I said, we're not gonna get this super early. It's gonna be around like 50 pity. So this will be a 31 pity. I, I wish I could use you because I just got two of you, but I can't. This is 41 pity. And her again. And here is 51 pity. Pity. Look, oh, <laughs> how do I call that? Okay, but you know, it's not over yet. We still need to win the 50-50 and that is terrifying. Oh, oh, I saw the books. Let's go. I'm not even going to ask for a double five star. You know, we don't need that. I'm fine with just the one. New character unlocked. Now we have a couple wishes left. We're going to pull on here and around 30 pity. We're going to see a five star. I can see a five star. I don't actually believe that. I just felt like since I got the other one right, I might as well try again. So that is 15 pity. Not seeing the four star light cone that we're hoping for. This is 25 pity. No five star. And also no erudition. Here we go with a little a 35 pity. I, I was wrong this time. There's no five star. And no four star. I will grab whatever we can. We cannot do another 10 pull, but that's okay. We'll just spend what we have. Here's pull number 40, which is not what we're looking for. But let me tell you about my friend number 41. The 42 is actually my friend. I just remembered 41 and I don't get along. 42. Why? I mean, like, it's a cool looking light cone. Don't get me wrong. But what do you expect me to do with that? Oh, I know. Get another wish. Because 43 and I just get along so not well at all. Uh, here's a little fun fact for you. I have no idea what she does. This is my first time ever even seeing her in game. So we're going to begin the process of building her because we need a character to save us from Sam. I don't actually know if that's going to be her, but I can hope it will be. Now we do have this temporary access thing, and I don't know if we had that for Jade. I'm not sure if that was a feature that existed at the time. I am curious can we do her talent or uh, traces as well? Like if I start leveling this, eventually we're going to need something that I shouldn't be able to farm yet. Like this, we do. Okay, we need to farm absolutely everything for her. I basically want to max her out before this temporary access thing goes away. And I don't think that should be too difficult because we have quite a bit of trailblaze power. But you see, we're also in luck. These are Jade's traces. And if we look here, we can't get this stuff yet because we don't have access to it. However, it is under temporary access now, which is exactly what I was hoping. So we should also be able to get a lot more investment into Jade. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. It would appear that at some point we got a lot of this light cone. So what we can actually do is superimpose that and it's already at superimposition four. I'm going to keep pulling on the light cone banner for the duration, just hopefully we can get one. And for that reason, I'm going to hold off on leveling the light cone for now, at least until everything else is maxed. Which, speaking of maxing things out, Himiko is now maxed, Jingyuan is maxed, Argenti is maxed, Herda is maxed, Serval I was just working on yesterday, she's very close to being maxed, Chingchui, or as I like to call her QQ, I know that's not how you say it, I just to think it's a fun nickname, but her traces are maxed. And so it's pretty much just Jade and now Ra Rappa or Rappa. I'm not entirely sure. Those are the only two that still need to be worked on. Now, of course, relics are kind of an entirely different situation because that is RNG dependent, but I think we are going to make a lot of progress today. But of course, by today, I mean like over the next couple of days, just in this video. Let's first start out with Rap Rappa. I should learn how to say her name, but her boss, which wants lightning, physical, and a fire. Hopefully this isn't too much of a pain for us. I have to admit, I'm very confused right now because usually for the, the boss materials, you fight a boss. I, I don't know what I'm fighting right now. It's just waves of enemies. And it goes without saying, I've not made it to this point in the game, so I don't actually know what I'm fighting here. Oh, that's the whole 
I thought there was going to be another wave. Okay, then that is not bad at all. Well, you guys definitely do not need to watch this, so I will come back to you once we have a decent number of boss drops. I have to say, I am very proud of this team right now. This is the last run that I have to do in here. I've only had to go and heal once, and this has been completely in auto mode. Farming used to be such a tedious process for this account, because I would have to heal between pretty much every single battle, and the space station would always run out of healing. So this may seem like a small thing, but this is really really nice. But there are our 65 ascension materials. And now I'm going to start ascending her and see if we're able to just bring her all the way up or if I'm missing anything. I think our credits are the biggest issue potentially, but we are in fact able to max ascend her. That brings us next over to the traces. And I'm sure some of these like the basic attack might not be as important, although she has a separate basic attack thing here. Again, I haven't read any of her kit yet. So I'm probably just going to try to level everything because that's what we're doing on this account anyways. But of course, we need to go do more farming. And since that's the case, I'm actually going to just sidebar her for a second. We're going to come back over to Jade and we are going to go work on her instead. Now the boss, what the heck is this? I have never seen this thing in my life. <laughs> it's weak to imaginary, and we just got an imaginary character, but she's not built, so I'm hoping that I can farm this without her. It's definitely going to take me a while, though. Oh, okay, this is looking a bit rough. When the enemy attacks and your game lags, you know it's going to be bad. All right, so, uh, <laughs> Oh no, that is highly unfortunate. Obviously, I want the best drops because we can only farm this a set number of times per week, but I may need to try a bit of a lower difficulty. But this is good. This gives me practice for if I ever actually make it to this boss in the story. This is so bad. All right, what does this do? Oh, it sends the Astral Express at it. Can't wait to see how that fits into the plot. The good news is I've almost killed it, but the bad news is... That's only its first health bar out of three. It seems like there's some mechanic where you gain a shield that blocks the team from taking damage. I haven't exactly worked out where that comes from, but I know that it exists. Okay, so this time, I actually took him down one health bar. Oh, and then he does a nuke, which I guess makes sense because Fantilia does the same thing. Oh, he gets a shield too. That's fun. I was actually hoping that he would be even harder to kill. Okay, final health bar. This is, uh, is kind of spoiler, so I don't want to see whatever that is. I really do... What the heck did he transform into? I don't think I win this. I'm also terrified of what's about to happen to my team. Oh, he's weak to everything. Okay, I have a big shield, right? I'm, a, I'm sure he's about to... He, she, whatever this is. It's about to nuke through all of the shield that we have accumulated. Almost assuredly. Okay, here we go. Not yet. Okay, next. Oh, gosh, the eyes are glowing. That's never good. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do, don't do it. Ah, oh, this is it big nuke maybe oh i think it does it just keep doing like big I, I don't know what's happening it somehow keeps looking more and more intimidating every single turn okay here we go oh gosh uh-huh okay yep there goes the team hey uh, uh friends on the astral express if you could show up maybe a little bit faster that would be much appreciated thank you here comes my biggest nuke possible this is this is the most damage i can dish out at once and it's not that much. I know I don't live another one, and bro is flexing that he knows how to count to seven. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh, we're dead. That was so close, though. Spam? Spam buttons? Wait. Did I interrupt it? What just happened? I don't understand, but I'm not going to question it. Maybe I had enough shield to withstand it. Yeah, he's he's counting again. I made him lose count. <laughs> Look at that. It's, it wasn't the highest difficulty. It was the second to highest, which means I only get two drops, which is kind of sad. Oh, I will be keeping that. And unfortunately, I was farming on this account earlier this week, and I spent two of our weekly boss drops already. Oh, I'm going to have to fight that thing so many times times. But now for what should be an easier round of farming, we just do these things where I hopefully can just head it into auto and do nothing. Although our space station does appear to be out of healing, so that could be problematic. That was our first round of six clears, and I think we only got hit twice, so we might be okay. Since we only have two of that weekly boss drop, uh, I have three things to choose from, but I think I'm going to choose these two. This one sounds kind of nice, and this one also sounds pretty good. Of course, I need 
tons upon tons of those. I think for Jade alone, I need 10 more. With our early access, I don't know if we have enough time to get all those, especially for our new character. But I'll just keep farming that in the hope that we can get a bunch as the weeks go on. And in the meantime, allow me to keep farming this. Okay, another round of farming is done. There's nothing else that I could do for Jade right now. But over here... There is quite a bit that we can do. So this is what it looks like before I make more upgrades. And this is what it looks like after doing all of our upgrades. So basically, I just got her to the point that Jade was at until today. We are very much held back by the weekly boss drops. But in my defense, I had no way of farming it until just now. And I mean, also, I didn't even know that that boss existed until just now. And I did notice that within the trace recommendations, the second priority is basic attack. So I assume that is actually a large part of her kit. I just looked up what her best relics are and it says it's the iron cavalry against the horde. Is, is that- is that something new? Does that even exist? That might prove to be a new problem because I think that that's part of the map we can't access and so I- don't know if there's a way for me to actually farm those relics right now. As far as I can tell, we cannot get to that relic set, and this would be her second best in slot. What's kind of funny is out of all of these, the only pair of boots that are main stat speed are the one pair of three stars. So I'm just going to stick with attack percent for the time being. We are definitely going to have to do some farming. I have none of the stuff that is best in slot for her. Now, you guys don't need to know what time of day or night I am recording this, but dailies just reset, which means one more pull and it's not a five star. Two days later, we have returned again. Don't get it twisted though. It's not that I didn't do anything yesterday. I was farming stuff on the account yesterday. I just figured it would be pretty boring to watch. And because of that, we actually have a couple more wishes. And apparently there's a new event with a light cone. That is destruction, so I do not care. But this stuff I do care about. However, a lot of these events uh, tend to be a little difficult for erudition only. With our three pulls, let's see what we can get. Nothing. Also nothing. And nothing. I'm not going to lie. I am very disappointed that I don't have access to the relic set that she wants. But I think it's time that I actually find out what she does. I realize that the other two characters on our team are not erudition. But in this game for the trials, you can't only choose one character to use. And they are just trials. So I, I don't I do not do the trials that aren't erudition characters. But for the ones that are, I just do them. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Also, oh, Mulani? So basic attack, imaginary damage. Skill imaginary damage. I think that is the shortest skill description I've ever seen on a character in this game. I really wish in these skill descriptions they just said skill or ultimate instead of the name of what it is because like the third hit of Ningu Demon Blade Petal Blade. Okay, where the heck is that? What is that? So let's use our skill. It does imaginary damage as it said it would. Then for the burst, we enter the seal form state. Ah, okay. First person Uh, looks good to me. Oh, it's one of the multiple attacking ones. Oh, so she just... All right, all right, I get it. I get it. So now I've seen what she's supposed to be able to do. Obviously, a lot of her kit is locked behind the three things that I can't get yet. I don't know what I've missed. Why are there so many herders in here? Apparently, I had a bunch of jade in here that I just never claimed. But in terms of the planner ornament set that we want, uh, I'm trying to find where it is. It is the Talia Kingdom of the of ban Banditry. This one. This is what we're going for. So I think I'm going to try to do this. Unfortunately, there are only two days left in the rotation. But a lot of the times when I come in here to do this, it doesn't really go well since, you know, we don't have support or healers. It is completely up to RNG whether we get the stuff that we need or not. Luckily here, we did start out with quite a bit of healing cards. Okay, this run is actually starting to snowball quite well. Hopefully we can keep the momentum going. It's always these optional battles that somehow end the run. Like this was one of the occurrence things where I didn't have to fight, but I ended up in a fight and now I'm probably going to lose because of it. Because she's doing way too much damage. More damage than any of the boss floors. I love when I get to the point, though, where I'm just doing so much damage and I don't even know how. It just becomes so satisfying. All right, boss time. Oh, gosh, that was almost death. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh, gosh. Uh, people are about to die. Oh, and we're back to full health somehow. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. There's just so many buffs at this point that it's impossible to keep track of them. Oh, he just hit for over 600,000. At this point, it's... <laughs> 
it's not even like I'm playing a game. I'm just kind of watching entertainment because I have no control. I mean, I have control, but I, I, I don't know. My whole team's about to die, and then all of a sudden they're back to full, and then the enemy's just gone. Don't get me wrong, though. It's quite fun to watch. Ooh, this automatically puts me in auto, but I become tankier and do more damage, and I haven't gotten it before, which means I should be able to get more jade from it. And then I truly do just sit back and watch. Okay, this should be fun. Let's see. How much damage my team can do if we don't die of course because that might just randomly happen okay i i like this so far let's go harder let's see huge damage let's see a million do a million damage 500,000, not bad. Himiko, also 500,000. And then for the, i can't even keep track of the numbers they're moving so fast i think it's big boss time oh no 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 who put this man in here oh it's my worst nightmare can i beat him like i have so many buffs don't you dare ruin this for me too sam delete him i want to see him deleted okay so far he hasn't moved and his first health bar is almost gone beautiful okay nice now he is gonna get a turn eventually there it is a little scary but oh oh he did no damage <laughs> sam i you know people people thought the sam was a threat right look at this loser he can't even do anything oh, oh was that was that 3 million? Oh my gosh, he got eviscerated. Yeah, I will be saving this file. File name, there you go. Very nice. And can I can I just keep that forever? Like, well, you don't have to reset it on me. I would be perfectly content just always using that save file. Oh, we probably have so much jade that I can get. Because I was claiming a bunch of stuff that I had never picked up before. And we'll just throw in some random buffs we'll grab our daily stuff do our one pull on the standard banner which is nothing of interest then almost pulled on the wrong one we go back to pulling on here because i want to get our five star one ideally before i waste a bunch of it's not really a waste but before i spend a bunch of resources on the four star and then potentially get the five star anyways and i guess i'll grab these because maybe we can get some four stars on this banner which would then let us keep pulling on the other one i mean at some point i'm gonna get a himiko idol on on this banner we all know you see right here this is the himiko you guys are gonna be surprised because i just literally called that but you don't have to be i mean i'm a, I'm a psychic obviously i called the 50 pulls before here's himiko that's not a himiko oh it doesn't even give me these for getting a five star well that's unfortunate but what we can now do is go in here select this dude because we want the talia set then uh how do i do this again so we want fire we want lightning uh there is no wind erudition character i'll put rapa on the team i don't know if she's gonna be able to do anything i kind of just want to test her out though oh no this is dumb this is so dumb look look at this look she's not gonna do anything okay i take it back let's just stick with the team that we were using it is locked in auto mode still um so I just sit here and we have so many buffs. It is really satisfying to watch. This is by far the best save file I've ever had for this account. And in two days, it disappears from existence. Oh, <laughs> he just, he's just gone. There's nothing he can do about it. I'm just going to spend some time farming this. I don't need to drag you all along for the process. And uh, hopefully we can get something for Rappa to use. Also, I've committed to calling her Rappa and I'm just going to assume that that is correct. But I will see you all after a bit of farming. Well, I'm not done farming yet, but apparently we've hit the maximum that we can hold in our inventory. So I need to go through and clean this out. On the bright side, we should have plenty of fodder material. My problem in this game is I never know what I'm supposed to save and get rid of. Because like this set doesn't seem good, but then suddenly I might need it and I'm getting rid of pretty much all of it. Wait a minute. Wait, I, I just salvaged a bunch of stuff. So I have a lot of relic remains. I could try to craft the relic set that we're or artifact set that we're going for. It's not art. What are they called? Relics. The, the relic. Okay, relic set. Because currently, that's the only way for me to get them. So let's just do two of the body piece. Surely we're gonna get really lucky here. Like, watch this. We got defense and a, okay, attack. I think attack is what we want. I just went back to make sure that I I know what I'm supposed to be building for. The attack is good, but it doesn't have a single subset that we want. However, we got an attack body, so I'm just going to leave that alone for now. We'll craft two hands, which gives us... Okay, no, nothing fantastic. Okay, they each have one subset that I want. Two of the head pieces. <laughs> These are going to be some seriously copium pieces. I really want attack percent, break effect, and speed. That's what we're looking for. Then for the boots, we want speed. Main stat, speed. And... 
we don't get that we could substitute this for now but i've seen like no speed substats so i'm gonna go through one at a time we'll craft another piece of each this is not what we want and no thank you big attack percent watch this boom not okay never mind speed speed yeah speed okay and attack percent if we can roll break effect it's perfect this one would be an upgrade i think i'm gonna go through and salvage a bunch more stuff see i'm doing this and then i'm like oh well what if i need the guard of weathering snow since this is an air edition only account and sometimes we just need to build for tanks then i'm gonna regret feeding this but at the same time i should feed it so i can potentially get the better set i think oh i think this is the best piece for the hands that we've gotten so before i go and salvage even more let's see what we can do with this we have two speed boots. I'm going to see what the fourth stat is on both of them. This one's crit rate. Not really what we need. And this one is defense percent so both are not fantastic but we can equip this for now for attack percent bodies there are three to choose from first one rolls flat hp second is speed okay that's good and the third one is crit damage so we will be going with the one that has speed then this was the set of hands which is just such a weird thing to say but it was the best one that we got Ey, looking a little not as good anymore let's try out the body flat hp great oh how okay we're, we're done with this piece this piece sucks let's see how bad these are effect res oh boy great start effect res again it would appear that i don't like any of our pieces i have found a much better way of sorting through all of this we just filter what we don't want and we get rid of it and i know that seems so obvious but look i'm stupid well i have done all of the salvaging and crafting that i can so whatever we have is what we have this has not gone so nicely uh here is our best headpiece we have 16 percent break effect which is decent so you know some attack percent uh rolled twice into crit rate which is useless for the hand we got a lot of flat defense the body piece three times into flat hp boots got effect res hp percent and then one whole roll into attack percent our ornament isn't horrendous three rolls into break effect is decent the other stats just don't help us and then for the rope we got crit damage and we don't really want any of these other stats the problem is that this set wants us to hit a speed of 145 uh let's see our speed right now 125 now if we run her with jade and we put the skill on her it increases the speed by 30 so we would get past that point then there also is nine more speed we can get through upgrades later on oh and there's also more break effect and attack percent yeah that would be nice i have a feeling until we can unlock these she's not gonna be that good and as of right now that is three days away now the other thing here i mean we're trying to get her signature light cone but this light cone does give her more break effect and then also increases speed by 14 percent adding 14 percent to our current speed only gets us to 142 so we're still not where we need to be so for that reason i don't need to level this light cone i could still just keep trying to get her signature this is probably going to go terribly because I'm not using any buffs. I don't even have all my energy for my ultimates. I'm just kind of curious, even without all of my traces, how are we looking against Sam? So immediately, we want to use this on her and also put on speed up. He doesn't have any weakness right now. How do I already forget what to do against this boss? He's going to do this. It's going to do a lot of damage. And now we can start hitting him. Okay, that hurt. This is also going to hurt. No, no, no. Wait, wait, don't do this. I didn't even get to go with Rappa yet. Don't you dare kill her before I get to see if this even does anything. And she's dead. That went great. I did just go ahead and farm some enemies to get my ultimates, and I realized that without leveling this light cone, she dies very fast. Let's do whatever we can to get Jade so that hopefully we can get the signature light cone or lose the 50-50, and that way I just know what I need to level up. Oh, wait. We... We have eight characters. We might actually be able to start doing the Forgotten Hall now. Oh, well, that was easy. So we got three stars there. That was whatever this is number two. So we might as well go ahead and try number three. Somehow I already forgot that Jade and Rafa were supposed to be on the same team. That was kind of a throw on my part, but we were still able to beat it. So of course we got to try number four. Oh, we got to be so careful though, because Rafa dies in like three hits from little enemies. So the boss is probably one shot her. Yeah, she's dead. It's okay. Jingyuan carried us. Uh, we got to fight this stupid plants. Oh, 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 reindeer. Reindeer with two health bars. That does doesn't seem balanced with what was on the other side. All right, you want to see some crazy damage? Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Bada bing. Bada 
Bada, bada boom, bada. There we go. And then, boom. That was underwhelming. Oh, a little more. And then we could go straight into the ultimate. And it's, uh, it's not much. I'm going to wait until you summon stuff, which is now. Cool. And then I'll use this. And then you summon it immediately again. That's fair. Oh, yeah. Just, just keep summoning. I didn't want to win or anything. Don't worry. Herda can carry. Look at 97k, 53k into the Himiko. That seems like as far as we're going to be able to push right now. Oh, I didn't. Okay, well, I only got two stars there. And that nets us 400 Jade. Oh, if we go back to the original version of the Hall of Memory stuff, it's only one side. So I could just bring in uh, this team. And as long as Rappa doesn't die, we should be all right. I fully expect Rappa's gonna die. Uh, let's go for this. Oh, she's so squishy. Wait, watch this. I'm just gonna delete her right here. And good power. <laughs> okay, hmm. Well, I guess we could do that. I guess it's been a really long time since I tried this. They're already gone. It's crazy that Herda is the fastest character I have. What is your speed? You're at 141. There's no reason that she's the fastest. It just happened. And she literally just soloed that. On to number six. Oh, it's weak to ice. Okay, Herda. There's just so much free jade here. What have I been doing? Okay, you want quantum and you want physical. I got you. <laughs> I'm literally entering the battle, clicking maybe Q once, and then they're dead. Look at that. I just entered. Now I'm going to boost you. We're just going to hit it, and we win. We are definitely going to be doing some pulls today. Ooh, floor nine? Sure. Don't mind if I do. Was this really a challenge for us before? I mean, I guess if I tried this like very early on in the account, th that makes sense. Because all of these characters, besides Jade, have completely maxed out everything. I would auto this, but I think it would take me longer to click the auto button than it would to finish it. Oh, so at 11, it splits into two different teams. Okay, well, I, I'm sure I... I could still push further, but <laughs> let's go and claim all of that. Oh, and then I get this. It's been a long time since I've claimed anything from this. Oh, we could do a full 10 pull. I think we're around 50 pity, so we're not even at soft pity yet. And it's not a five star and it's not the four star either. So let's go back to single pulls and we're out of Jade already. I did notice though, if our plan is to run Jade with Rappa and then boost her speed, Jade should probably be moving before her. And right now that is not the case. Another 1000 stellar Jade. And now we unlocked the memory of chaos, which I assume is the part that resets. I, I don't actually know because I don't think I've ever done this, but we also get an additional 100 Jade. Oh. You're not erudition. Not gonna lie, I forgot that he was even in the game. Oh, there it is. Now, I've learned that I think it's a 75-25 in this game that you're like in favor of getting the light cone that you want. So we lost that last time. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. It did not. Okay, perfect. So signature light cone. Let's begin leveling that up. There's level 70. We need eight more of these, which I might be able to craft. And then I guess I'm gonna have to go farm those again. I had farmed some extra of them because I knew we'd be needing more. Uh, I don't think we actually have enough. Yeah, we're short by one. And then for these guys, I have a feeling we are also gonna be short. Uh, don't we just have enough? These I'm not worried about because I can farm them anytime I need to. But these I can only farm right now. So now we can go ahead, max us in the light cone and probably level it all the way up. A little expensive, but yes. That gets her 3,200 attack, much better than before. And her break effect is at 219%. I'm pretty sure I saw something in here that we want at around 250. I don't remember what that was though. So now that we have a leveled light cone and leveled relics, I'm going to come over here and make another bad choice. We are just going to kind of wait around until this boy does his next move, which is this. Okay, now we use everything. Look, like we're looking for... Look for good damage here, right? Boom, boom, and mm, that's, that, that doesn't really do much. Rappa, you're supposed to be the character that makes this possible. You're supposed to carry us. Oh, we're dead. I was so close to breaking him before he could do this, but not close enough, it would seem. Okay, we didn't die, so that's good. We did take down his shield thing. This probably doesn't... Do much. I mean, she also is missing so many of her talents or the traces. Yeah, he already regenerated his shield. This ain't gonna work. Because spoiler alert, we do not live another nuke. All right, watch this. Rappa is going to just demolish his entire health bar right here. It's like he never existed. 
It's like I never existed. Now there is something that we were finally able to complete with the addition of this character and that is our profile page. We now have eight characters so I can finally fill this out. Now the hope for this video was that we would get this character, potentially her light cone, and then go beat Sam once and for all. But as we saw, that's not really the case yet. I need this weekly boss back and that comes back tomorrow, which is when I'm supposed to upload. But this is fine because I'm sure some of you, like, you know this game better than I do. Perhaps there's some specific team or some specific something that I should be doing to make her even stronger or potentially be able to beat Sam with her. So feel free to leave all of that down in the comments. But for right now, I just need to wait until the weekly boss is reset so I can go farm there. And then one of these days, we are taking that. Down Sam. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy, and as always, I will see you all next time.